65% of you use a Phillips screwdriver for most of your electrical work around the house. I'm here to tell you there are much better options, and in fact, I found one option here with all of the testing I've done that is the absolute champion, but I think you're going to be pretty surprised at what I discovered. In an effort to discover what you typically use as a screwdriver when doing electrical work, I conducted a poll on my channel, and I put the four different main options on there, and slotted or flathead came in with 17% usage. And I'm very curious to see what this is going to look like five years from now if this will change or adjust, but more on that one in just a second. Phillips came in at 65%, like I'd mentioned, and then Robertson or Square Drive represented 8% of you users. 9% or the final bit was ECX or combination tips. We're going to talk all about those because I ordered some pretty funky ones from around the world to try to see if those were the best ones. Let's start by covering the old trusty flathead or slotted screwdriver here. I actually can't stand flatheads. I think they're they should go away, in my opinion. I don't see any good use for them, and 17% of you, at least, totally disagree with that, and I'm okay with that, I understand that. I have a theory. I think that a lot of people are using flathead because that's what they grew up with, or slotted. They're used to it, they're accustomed to it. I know that it gives you good torque, but let's talk about some pros and cons here. Slotted screws, basically, you do get good torque if you're using the right size, and by the way, it's not a small size. This is the proper size that you should be using when you're working with electrical screws. This is meant to fill up that entire slot that goes across the face of it. If we go back a little ways though, we can see that pretty much all outlets in electrical work used to use slotted screwdrivers, and that's just what it was. All of these other ones that we've had have really come and evolved from that slotted that we originally started with. It's no wonder so many people still use a slotted screwdriver for electrical work, but Personally, if I woke up tomorrow and slotted screwdrivers and slotted screws had vanished from the planet, I would be perfectly happy with that. I don't ever need to see them again. That said, look at these. There's no getting around it. Our plate covers for outlets, light switches, and everything else pretty much all still use these little screws with a slotted screwdriver screw on them. You just can't not use these. You've got to carry these around if you're going to do any sort of finish work. And a lot of times even a light fixture, for example, or something that you're doing will use that. Let's take a look at the combination screw that we're now seeing in pretty much any electrical device around the home today. Time for a nerd confession here. I actually went out and bought this sweet macro lens because I wanted to show you super close exactly what we're dealing with here. And when it comes to the connection that the driver makes to the screw, it really helps if you can see it up close and personal. And so I got this lens that allows me to get super close in. It's like near microscopic nerdery level and it's pretty awesome. So hopefully that helps you to see what we're talking about here. This combination screw, as you can see, has four different types of drivers it can work with. We have the traditional slotted, we have the Phillips, we have a square or Robertson drive, and then it can work with any of the combinations. Now when I say combination drivers, I'm talking about any combination and they're all out there. I've actually got right in front of me and I've tested, I've got a combination of a Phillips and a square drive put together. We've got a slotted and a square drive, and we even have a slotted and a Phillips put together. So we're gonna try all these out. I'll show you how they work, but really this screw is meant to work with any of those. It's a fairly soft metal, and you're gonna find it in two different sizes. The first size is the number one square drive, and that's what's used in outlets and in light switches. It's used for anything that you're gonna be doing with that. There are other places you'll find it, but these are the most common. The second is the number two, and that's going to be used with anything in your electrical panel. The screws on the outside of the panel, your bus bars, your circuit breakers, anything like that is going to use a number two Robertson or a number two square drive. Conveniently, the Phillips driver actually uses a number two for all of these, whether it's in the panel, on the outlets or receptacles, light switches, it's a number two across the board. So I think that plays in somewhat to the fact that we use Phillips so frequently for electrical work because you can use it pretty much anywhere and you don't have to change out your driver. I should probably mention before we go any further that I'm always looking at an insulated screwdriver if I can find one. Sometimes they're just not available and we'll talk more about that. But basically this whole purpose of an insulated screwdriver is to reduce the risk of electrical shock. So check out the labels, find out what their specs are, and anytime you can use insulated, I'd highly encourage you to use it just to add that extra layer of safety, but also turn that power off. 
I mentioned before that the Phillips is not necessarily your best bet, and I stand by that for a couple of reasons. First of all, there are some good things about it, and one of them is just the fact that it's every 90 degrees you can insert this. It's really easy to work with, and it's pretty universal. If you've got a number two Phillips, you can use it with all different kinds of screws, like I said, in an outlet or receptacle, as well as in a panel. So that's pretty awesome, but what happens is, if you don't have a high quality one or if you've got an older one, what's gonna happen is these little wings on the four sides start to get a little bit worn down, and as that happens, you just lose all of your leverage. It just doesn't turn very well. The same thing can happen with the screw itself. If the screw itself doesn't have a good grip on there for those tiny little wings, then you don't have a lot to hold on to and therefore you're not gonna get good leverage and no torque really. So that's really the downside. That said, if you do buy a decent quality screwdriver with a hardened steel tip, that's gonna do better, but you're still gonna run the risk of having too soft of a screw to work with, and I still don't think it's gonna give you the torque and the fit that you're gonna get with some of the other ones we'll talk about in just a moment. So what about Robertson? Robertson or Square Drive has a couple of huge advantages. Number one, this in my opinion gives the best fit into the pocket of this screw, this combination screw out of anything that I've tested here. It does a pretty fantastic job with that. Secondly, just like the Phillips, every 90 degrees you can insert it. So that makes it really easy to not mess up. It's fast to work with. You don't have to spend a lot of time searching for that alignment just right. And it's just gives you good grip and good torque. So all around, I find that the, the Robertson here is really a pretty fantastic option. And there's a reason, if you look in the comments of my poll, anybody from Canada is like, why would you use anything but a Robertson? And why does any other country even have other options when the Robertson is the way to go? So obviously, there's a lot of Canadian pride there. Robertson is from Canada. Um, the actually uh, patent for this came originally from there. But this is a pretty great option. And a lot of people have told me though that these tend to cam out or slip. And again, I'm gonna circle back to that one in just a little bit. Now the last one on the list was combination tips. And I've talked on this channel before about the ECX driver. ECX comes from the Milwaukee brand and you're gonna find other ones from other brands that use a different name. So I've been using the ECX for about a year now and using it for just about anything I do with electrical and have been really happy with it. That said, one day I looked a little closer because I noticed something a little funky. And that is that when you look closely up at the tip, it's almost completely flat. The wings go across and then you've got this little bump where the square drive part is located in the center. Not much of one, but then I saw, okay, look inside the combination screw here and you can see there is this little round cone shape at the bottom, almost like it's meant to receive this little tip, but it doesn't work that way. What happens is every single time when you put this in, it will only go as deep as the wings of the slotted screwdriver portion. And that means it bottoms out. It doesn't bottom out down in the hole where all that grip is and where all that potential torque comes from. It bottoms out in the winged slotted screwdriver section. That means you're getting very little effectiveness out of the tool compared to what you could be getting if that extended out a little further. What if either that square drive stuck out further to get down into that pocket in there or the wings were swept back a little bit? So what I tried to do was do this myself manually. I put this in a vise and I started filing. So I grabbed some files and basically my goal was to try to create the perfect screwdriver bit. Now I kept trying and I kept trying and I kept failing. What happened was I couldn't get the right shape of tip to fit in there just right and I couldn't find the proper depth necessarily. And I did try this multiple times and it is better, but it's not what I would recommend. I think I might actually play around with this a little bit more because I do think there's a better solution out there, but that also led me to do a little more searching. Before long, I discovered this. This is the combo tip or combination tip from Klein. Isn't this exactly what I was just talking about? Basically your wings are swept back a little bit more. The square drive sticks out a little bit more. One thing that's funky about it is if you look at the end view on it, you can see it's a little more round than square for some reason, but still, this should be a huge improvement over what we found in the ECX, and in fact, it is. This comes in a number one and a number two size for whatever work you need to do, and it works really well. So I was pretty pleased to find this, but in looking through some additional comments, some additional forums, and some additional sites, I discovered that there are other options out there that I just had to try to see if they compare to either of these. That's when I came across this little guy. This is the Bosch, I think it's the P2R2. Yes, the P2R2, not the R2D2. And this guy is a combination of a number two Phillips and a Robertson number two. 
So in a lot of ways, this is a godsend because this is going to be able to act as a Phillips driver as well as a number two Roberts. Super clever. I really like this idea. The problem is it's only a number two. They don't make a P2R1, which is what you would need to work with outlets and light switches. So keep that in mind. So a good option, but I also found that honestly, maybe because it's trying to multitask a little bit here, it's not giving me as good of a grip as I would like. In fact, it tends to slip a little bit more. Some people love these and swear by them. Maybe I'm missing something, I don't know. But to me, they're a little bit limited in their application and they're also um, not that great as far as actual grip inside the screw head. Now that leads me to my final screwdriver that I was able to find. And this is a German brand called Via or Viha. I'm not I'm a German speaker, I'm not sure if I'm saying that right. I know the W is pronounced like a V, but didn't get much past that. Instead of a combination slotted and Robertson screwdriver, they make a combination slotted and Phillips screwdriver, which I found was pretty interesting. But if you check out the tip on this and look at the profile shape, you'll see that this might be the best one yet. Basically, we've got that nice Phillips view from one side and it looks exactly like a Phillips and works like one, but then you go the other way and it has the expanded wings for a slotted screwdriver. And the best part is the shape of that tip up there means that not only is it getting the whole Phillips torque, but it's also sinking down further into that pocket to give you torque all the way down there for that Phillips section. So it works really well. When I discovered the Via, I thought maybe I'm done. This has got to be the champion right here. But as I started using it, lo and behold, it slipped. No! I was so like, I just wanted this to be the winner. I wanted this to be done. I don't know if I've mentioned this, but I have actually recorded this same video four different times now because I kept finding something better and better. And I cannot find anything else at this point. So I thought, if this thing still slips, does that mean it's the best option even though it's not perfect? Maybe. It doesn't slip much. This one has a fantastic grip and it is an excellent product but it has slipped a couple times on me and it's a little disappointing. I want it to just work. So I decided to start from square one and get out all of my electrical stuff, all of the different screws that I might be working with around the house and test everything on here. All the three major regular types plus any combination drive I could get my hands on. So I went through and did that, tested over and over and over. And you might be surprised here again, like, like I said in the beginning, at what I discovered. And that is the winner the one that works best all of the time is the Robertson drive. So you win my Canadian friends. So this one, the number one and number two, they had the best grip. They had the best torque. They were easiest to get in every time because of that 90 degree rotation. They were the least likely to slip out, the least likely to cam out, and they just worked so well. Not only that, but another thing you have to consider here is how easy is it to get your hands on these. Robertsons are everywhere. Square Drive, Robertson, and I don't see a huge difference between them. Yes, there is a little bit, but this one honestly looks more like a square to me than the Robertson, and it does a fantastic job. Now, this particular one that I found is so good. This is made by Klein, and it is insulated. It's got a slim shaft, so you can get into those little tight spots that you're working with sometimes. And my favorite part here is you just twist that, it releases, and flips over to a number two. So you can go from number one to number two really easily. This is starting to sound like bathroom humor, but I promise it's not. And so they're both on there. It works perfectly. This is just a light tool. That's the other thing. It's not trying to be everything to everyone. It's just those two tools and it feels good in the hand. It works great. You do still have to use a slotted screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver from time to time. But if you carry this, these three tools, this little kit here as your pack out, you are in good shape. You can do pretty much everything that you need to get to no matter what. This is what I would go with. That said, don't go out and run and buy new tools unless you're already in the market for them. Mostly, you probably already have what you need. Any bit uh, set like this one here typically comes with Robertson number ones right here and Robertson number twos right here. You're going to find these in your house most likely if you've ever bought any of these kits like this. If you want to use an impact driver or a drill for doing your electrical work, which a lot of us do, then there's tons of bits. Um, right in front of me, I've got DeWalt's, I've got Bosch's, I've got Makita's, and I know that pretty much every other brand makes these too. The only downside I've found is that when you go to the hardware store, you cannot find a Phillips and a slotted plus a Robertson number one. 
It's always Robertson number two. I don't know why the Robertson number two is like the reigning champ of sizes. It works great for your bigger stuff, for your electrical panel work. It's really no good for when you're trying to work with outlets and light switches, which we as DIYers tend to use so often. So keep an eye out for the different sizes, but you can buy everything that you need. You can buy insulated, you can buy bits, and so on. And I'd love to hear your opinion on this, but don't give me your opinion until you've tried it. Try all these like I did. You don't have to try them all, but try a Robertson. Tell me what you think. Get that thing out and actually put it in and see if it works like you think it should. It really just works well pretty much every time and requires minimum force against the screw itself. I'm Nils with Learn to DIY. Thanks for watching.